He wants to rise up a spirit inside of you that will challenge the enemy. Turn to your neighbor and say, challenge the enemy. Challenge the enemy. Some of you may not comprehend the depth of challenge. It's literally when the enemy doesn't come to you. You come to it. You come to the enemy and you say, I challenge you. I want to face you right now and I want to show you that my God will prevail. And so what happens is that you look at your situation and you say, this is not okay in my family. I'm not okay with poverty. I'm not okay with depression in my mind. I'm not okay that I'm a child of God, of the Most High God, and I have suicidal thoughts. I'm not okay that someone in my family is dying out of cancer. I'm not okay of divorce. I'm not okay. You take a stand. You challenge of what's happening in your life. And I want to bring up a story that happened in my own personal life because I want to encourage you. This I've mentioned a couple of times, but I want to tell you this is, was my revelation in that moment where God says you cannot stand there and allow things to happen because if you will stand, the devil will rise. And so there was this moment last year, my mother was impacted by depression. And at first, you know, I just thought that, you know, the situation, circumstances, it was normal. But it was getting worse to the point of mental illness, I could say. And now, this is my mother, so I wouldn't say that just to say that. It was true, definite impact on her mind. She started to hallucinate, uh, started to act really funny, just really different. And this was also really generational. This already affected my uncle and a couple of people in my family already. And this started to evolve and started to really impact me and for me to see my mother like this. And then there was one moment where there was a weak, vulnerable point with her and a spirit of fear entered her in such a way where she was watching my child. She said, I cannot watch your child anymore. I can't do it. I have such severe anxiety. I'm worried that I'm, she's gonna die in my hands. Like completely just lost it. Would call me at four in the morning. I wanna tell you guys the depth of the darkness that was started to go down in my eyes. Now, this is the thing of, that's really discouraging. I already see the trait that's happening in my family, that this happened to a couple of people, and it's already happening to my mom. It's not started, it's happening. Now, God rose up a spirit inside of me, I believe, that it was precious Holy Spirit that just said, no, this will not be. I will not allow this to happen. You know the truth. You know that I am God, that I can do the impossible. You know the testimonies that you see in the church. Rise up against it. Fight it. And so I began to pray. I began to wail. I began to just completely, my heart was drenched with compassion that I cannot explain. It was not human. I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. All I was thinking was about my mother. And so I was praying, calling her twice a day, calling her from like once in a while to calling her twice a day. I was so concerned. My heart was drenched in this issue. And so there was that moment where I was uh, driving to the house and I was driving and I said, God, I am ready when you're ready. I believe you're going to set her free. I believe that you are the God that answers by fire and you're going to set my mom free. And so there was that moment where I was having lunch with her. I looked her in the eyes and there were fully broken, full of tears. And she's like, I cannot live like this anymore. And I said, you don't have to, get up. And so I told her to get up and I casted that demon of fear out of her and I said, you will no longer come into this body ever again. And I'm telling you, when she rose up, the next day, the next week, the next month, the next year, she's never been the same again. And that is our God.